Today, we have some significant developments in the ongoing discussion surrounding the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. The State Department has just released a declassified version of its long-anticipated report, shedding new light on the failures and challenges faced by the Biden administration. Let's dive into the details. According to the report, both President Trump and President Biden's decisions to end the U.S. military mission in Afghanistan posed significant challenges for the State Department. It highlights how these decisions impacted the department's ability to maintain a robust diplomatic and assistance presence in Kabul while providing continued support to the Afghan government and its people. It has been one year since the Taliban took over Afghanistan, and the consequences of the U.S. withdrawal are still being felt. The report points out that some of President Biden's choices compounded the difficulties faced by diplomats on the ground. For instance, the speed at which the military withdrew and the handing over of Bagram Air Base to the Afghan government in July 2021, which left Hamid Karzai International Airport as the sole evacuation route. We all remember the heartbreaking scenes from the evacuation at the Kabul airport. The report emphasizes that the decision to rely solely on the airport as an evacuation route led to some of the darkest and most frantic moments of the crisis. It also mentions the terror attack that tragically took the lives of 13 American service members and numerous Afghans desperate to escape the Taliban's rule. Now, in response to the report's findings, President Biden did not directly address them but defended his initial stance on Afghanistan, claiming he was right. Let's take a look at what he said. Biden said, no, no. All the evidence is coming back together. Remember what I said about Afghanistan? I said Al-Qaeda would not be there. I said it wouldn't be there. I said we'd get help from the Taliban. What's happening now? What's going on? Read your press. I was right. While President Biden may stand by his statements, the State Department's review indicates that some crucial decisions were not made in a timely manner. It suggests that senior officials failed to act urgently as the Taliban gained power, relying on assurances from Afghanistan's then-president that the country's forces could hold the Taliban at bay for some time. According to a senior official, many of these painful lessons have been internalized and applied to subsequent crises, such as the Russian invasion in Ukraine. However, the report raises concerns about the lack of sufficient planning for a worst-case scenario and the failure to take decisive action when it became clear that scenario was a reality. Now, it's important to note that only a quarter of the 80-page report was made public. This limited release has raised questions and left many Republicans on Capitol Hill unsatisfied. They have been urging the State Department to widely share its findings since April when the report was transmitted to select members of Congress. Host, that wraps up our coverage of the State Department's review on the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. The report's findings shed light on the challenges faced by the administration and raise.